This is a video about how to do your assignment for Monday. You need to have a keyboard sheet, which is available at the front of the room. And you are going to open this assignment in Google Classroom. It's called Half Step and Whole Steps Monday. Okay, so you got two things. One, two. This keyboard is all labeled for you. What you're doing today is learning how to make a half step and a whole step on the keyboard. When you count a half step, you are only counting one key over. If I'm on C and I want to move one half step up, I go one. Let's say I want to move a half step from here. I only need to move one key, one. Half step up from here would be one, and then like this. So you have to count the black keys and the white keys. You do not want to do it like this. One. That can't work because you skipped the black key. So if you're doing a whole, if you're doing a half step and you go one, you are wrong. If you are doing a half step and you go like that to the very next black key, you're doing a good job. So half steps are always the key right next to it. And it's the same for going down. Always the key right next to it. You can't skip any of the black keys. So let's do number three together on the sheet. Number three says, what is one half step lower than A flat? So the first thing I gotta do is find A flat. Okay. Got an A flat right here. It asked me to do one half step. I know I got to move one key. It also tells me to go lower. Lower keys are this way. So if I start here and I know I need to move one key lower, I'm going to go one. So I'd write G for number three. It could also ask you to go a whole step lower. A whole step is two keys. It's where you count two instead of one. So if we were on the note F and we want to go a whole step higher, we'd count one, two. If we were on B and we want to go a whole step higher, we'd count one, two. We would not want to do this. Let's see, we're starting on F. If you go one, two, you are wrong because you are skipping these black keys. One, two, or one, two. Let's do one that asks about a whole step. Uh, let's do number two. Number two says, what is one whole step higher than C? First, you gotta find C. Okay. It's asking me to do one whole step. I know a whole step is two keys. Then I think, which way do I wanna go, higher or lower? This question says one whole step higher. So higher goes this way. So I needed to count two keys this way. One, two. So one whole step higher than C, one, two, is the note D. One other thing that's super important I wanna let you know. If your answer is a black key, you see you got two options here, G sharp and A flat. This is G sharp and A flat. Those are both correct names for this key, but it depends what the question asks to what you put. If the question is asking you what's a whole step lower or a half step lower, anything lower, you always use the flat. So if this was the key and it asked me to go lower than something, I use D flat. This key, if it asked me to go lower, I use E flat, G flat. If the question asks you to go higher, what's a whole step higher than, hmm, what's a half step higher than whatever, you want to use a sharp if you end up on a black key. So if it says what is a half step higher than C, you're going to say C sharp. This is also the D flat key, that's true. But since it asks higher, you've got to go C sharp. If you land on a white key, so if it says what's a half step higher than B, you don't have to put sharp or flat, that's just C without sharp or flat. 
So if you're stuck on any question, remember to look at the keyboard, find the note, is it a whole or a half step, and which direction to go. You are going to do number one, two, and three, and then bring it up for me to check. Thank you.